Evening everyone, it's Proctor here as always. Today, I'm finally gonna show you guys that damn Acura. This is that damn Acura. <laughs> the reason I say damn Acura <laughs> is because this thousand dollar Acura has cost me so much money in the last few, not even a week really. And it, I'm getting quite tired of it, but I'm keeping this one for the long run. I pretty much fixed everything that was screwed up on it. So, not even, it was this morning, I needed it for one thing, to go to work. Start it up, starter explodes. Pretty much pieces underneath the car, I don't know how that managed to do that. So anyways, I spent like half the day putting this thing in, taking out the intake manifold and EVAP stuff and everything. Quite fun, when you've never really worked on a K-series. So, got a junkyard starter, threw it in, and voila. Knock on when this thing better start right now because I had to walk to work. But this is basically it. You can see my ghetto rust fix job I'm in the middle of. Yeah. You. <sighs> nice shiny leather interior. <laughs> Knock on wood, this thing better start because I literally just put a starter on it five minutes ago. <laughs> YouTube the whole thing. Well, how to do it anyway. I haven't even started it up yet, so knock on wood or knock on leather, this is gonna work right now. Please, God. Because I am so tired of this shit. I gotta drive this thing to like an hour away and now, really. Okay, baby, let's go. Oh my God, it started. Well, guys, I replaced the starter. I replaced with everything else on it that can break too. Let's go through the list. We replaced the cat, the oxygen sensor spacers. We replaced the battery, the starter now. I replaced the headlights with HIDs. They're actually blue, they're not green, it's just the camera. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of work to this car to make it nice. I also got a bunch of interior things that was missing, like knobs and stuff. But yeah, oh, I replaced the sunroof as well. The glass was pretty broken, so. And also, he didn't tell me the motor was broken, so when I drove it on the highway, the whole sunroof flew off. Great, right? It does have some body mileage, but he actually did give me the receipt for the new engine, so I'm quite happy about that. Anyways, I'm gonna go put this thing on the road right now. Oh, I, was, I placed the shift knob because I can never use a stock shift knob, just something that I can't do. Anyways, we're gonna just take it around the block so I can put the Honda back in the driveway. I really don't know why I'm not bringing the Honda to Barry. Actually, you know what? I just realized why. Stupid question. I gotta get a new radio installed in this car. Cause this one's totally dicker. It doesn't do anything. But very nice, nice car to drive. Very smooth. Has ass warmers too, it's quite nice. Would I do this again if I knew the problems? Probably not. But it's all good. Also the clutch pedal is squeaky. It's dry as hell. So yeah. Very fun car to drive though when it works right. So yeah, this is gonna be what the second time the car has left me stranded. Once at the ministry because I got denied a sticker because I couldn't um, get another temp because of the emissions problems it had. And then it basically actually did die on me when I had to go to work. And um, I couldn't start the car. And because this one was behind the Honda, I had to walk to work because I couldn't drive the Honda because the Honda's in front of the Acura. I tried bump starting it and I ended up just getting stuck in the middle of the road, so pushed it back with the caravan and a tow strap. So, fun times, brothers and sisters. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna take a video of this car in the daylight, maybe tomorrow or the next day, so you guys can see it. Oh, there's the Honda! Sorry guys, I'm just really tired today and don't give a shit. <laughs> this car, man. As soon as I plug the scanner back into it, I already had an engine light for EVAP, but we don't worry about that. But as soon as I plugged the uh, scanner in, it had like 30 friggin' other codes after doing the starter, so I had to actually go one by one and check every connector, and they finally went out. So, I was kinda happy about that. The fact that it starts is amazing, I'm actually really happy about that now. So, let's go put the Honda back in the driveway. That's one of those nice keys, too. Even the key really doesn't work either. I'm not gonna get into that. Like the remote thing, you'll be using it. 